Welcome to Ruby Bro, and my name is Chim. Today we are going to show you how to use Haml with Ruby on Rails 6. It's actually a very simple thing to do. I will use the blog app that I created previously in other videos. So let's just see what it does. This is where I left off last time, and you can see my first post. Uh, in the last video, basically, we updated the basic Rails app with Bootstrap 4 and using Webpack. It's a little bit clunky, but I recommend you to take a look at the video again. Now, today, what I want to show is that the code is actually in, in mostly in HTML, CSS. So when we go to the app folder and then go to views, and then I click post, and let's say that I click the index page, you can see that the H, pretty much this code here looks like normal HTML code, right? Let me just give you another example. In the layout, in the application, you see that I have this huge HTML code that I copied last time from a template in Bootstrap 4. So what I want to do here is to make this last clumsy and much easier to add it because in HTML, every time that you open a tag, most of the time, you have to close it with another tag. And it's very hard to follow when you have a lot of divs, a lot of bunch of stuff happening here, okay? Now, before we make uh, this change, let's, let's try to understand Hamel. what Hamel is. Hamel is HTML abstract. So basically, it's just like another way to write HTML in a simplified form. So here you can see that it transformed the HTML tag into Hamel. Haml is actually kind of closer to what Python is in the sense of like the indentation, right, defines the hierarchy of the elements of that code. So if things are inside of a section, you know that once something is inside of the section, regardless in HTML, if there's indentation or space or tab, the browser understand that as the elements inside of section. Meanwhile, in Haml, that visually in the code is more obvious. Everything that is under section tag, in this case, such as H1 and H2, it would be their parent tag is actually section, right? And, and that's much simpler ways to see the HTML code. Although there's some pros and cons, but I think with time you will discover those little details, but I think in general is, is actually something that I like to use the Haml because it just makes things much easier to read and maintain. So let's get started. Okay, so visually we want to see a lot of distance. Actually, that's the expected behavior. We'll transform this code, which is parts of this code, plus the code from forms and index everything will be transformed into uh, Haml. Now, there's also a handy tool to help you transform HTML to Haml, which is HTML to Haml. So sometimes you have a very complicated HTML code that you want to tra get translated to Haml, you can just use this tool. There's other tools that do the inverse of converting Haml code to HTML. So in order to install Haml, what we need to do is to actually add the gem for the Haml gem, which is gem, and then Haml, Rails, and save it. And then we do bundle install, and then everything should be working. And then later, one of the first files that we will try to convert just to see if it works is the following, is the application HTML ERB. And then for that, what we do is this command here, gham2 application, application layout convert. 
Okay, so you saw that it came with an extra code here. So it converted this HTML into this one. And in order for the system to use the Hamel one and not the old one anymore, we have to delete the ERD version of it or just rename it something else. But here we can already see the differences of the passcode versus new code. Just by looking at the number of lines, you know that this file finishes at 48 and this file finishes at 37. And in order to read the code, I'm not to worry about if the div, if I'm missing any div or anything like that, if I delete one here, I wouldn't notice it. But here, I know that the indentation follows a hierarchy and me make it easier to type. And I even have to type less because instead of typing div, class, call, and all this stuff, I just have to type dot and the classes or the uh, anchors or uh, IDs, and then everything will be created automatically without you having to type every single thing, right? So this is a good example where you mix this classes and ID, and I have the ID and the classes. The order doesn't matter much here. And if I want to just add simple tags, I just use percentage uh, sign with the name of the tag and, and everything would be generated automatically. The three dots is just a way to tell that it's HTML, uh, the more modern version of HTML, then it would generate the job type HTML, and again, you can explore how to do these different, more advanced tag using either the converter, the HTML to Haml, or just by reading the documentations is actually not very hard. Now, but I still have a lot of these other pages in HTML and I need to convert all of them to Haml. So how do I do that? There's a command which is Rails Haml ERB to Haml. And then this command will convert everything. It will ask you if you want to convert. And then I will say yes. And then pretty much everything will be uh, created. And then it will ask you if you want to delete the original ERB and it will say yes. You see that the changes happen instantaneously on my side. I don't even need to delete the ERB file anymore. It's done, the index, so I saving it. Now I can see that all the code is converted automatically into, HT, uh, into Haml and, and that's it. You see, it's very simple. Now I can actually run Rails S again and you should be able to see everything running smoothly as before. And then I can just see. That's it. So today we learn how to implement Haml into Ruby on Rails. It's super easy. It actually makes your code much easier to maintain or read it for later instead of a bunch of divs and then sometimes you miss a tag and then the page comes out wrong and you don't know why. So I, I highly recommend to use Haml uh, in your projects from now on. Thanks for watching and have a good day. And don't forget to subscribe. More updates coming soon. Bye.